Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has recently rolled out a insider preview build to the beta channel, build 22635.4515 with the update KB5046756. Now, the new features that gradually been rolled out um, are two in total. And the first is Microsoft says it's gradually rolling out the ability to resume working on OneDrive files from your phone, so that would be iOS and Android, on your Windows 11 PC with a single click. With this feature, they say you will get a notification asking you if you want to pick up where you left off, editing a OneDrive file like a Word doc as an example, that you last viewed or edited on your phone within a five minute time window preceding unlocking your PC. So you've got five minutes to view this document out um, after unlocking your PC. So what we are looking at here is a cross-device resume notification indicating that you can continue working across devices. Now, they also mentioned that upon clicking on this notification, the same file that you were viewing or editing previously on your phone will open in your default browser on your PC. So that's the first of two that are um, new features that are gradually rolling out. And I'm just going to mention the next one. Um, Microsoft calls this passwordless improvements where... They say they are releasing updates to Web Authenticator um, APIs to support a plugin authentication model for passkeys. So in the coming months, Windows customers will be able to choose a third-party provider as an additional choice alongside the native Windows passkey provider while maintaining the Windows Hello user experience. And what this will do is it will allow plugins to use Windows Hello as a verification mechanism. So that's just basically an extra layer of security, which could be a good thing at the end of the day and then changes and improvements gradually been rolled out and this is not the first time this one has been featured but um, Microsoft says it's rolling out the ability to right click and share local files under the recommended section of the start menu so if this is something you do on a regular basis that may be a step in the right direction and then just to mention the next one in regards to the accessibility magnifier feature um, Microsoft says it's adding a new keyboard shortcut, Control, Alt, and Minus for magnifier users to quickly toggle between the current zoom and one bar zoom. So if you are using the magnifier as an accessibility feature, that may be a step forward. And then we get some important fixes that have, are gradually been rolled out to the File Explorer. And only the File Explorer gets fixes in the beta channel um, for last week. And... If we head over to the File Explorer, Microsoft says they fixed an issue where sometimes you would be unable to navigate by entering a path in the address bar. And here's an important one, because if you toggle into full screen using um, F11, you can see in the stable version, the address bar and my disks, as an example, are overlaying. So what Microsoft says, they fixed an issue where the File Explorer address bar was unexpectedly overlapping with content while in full screen F11 view, as you can see. So um, I didn't actually know about that bug um, until this update rolled out. So I never use my file explorer in, in full screen. So let me know if you've seen that in the, in the comments um, because a fix is on the way according to Microsoft, which I think is a nice move. Let's just get out of that quickly. There we go. And then they improve performance of context menu launch for people when right clicking on cloud files. And they made a change to help ensure thumbnails for cloud files are displayed more consistently in search results within File Explorer. And then the last fix rolling out for File Explorer, they fixed an issue which was causing some explorer.exe crashes. So that's your explorer, start menu, taskbar, and so on. Crashes in the last couple of flights, including when trying to create new folders in certain locations. So some important um, fixes are rolling out to the beta channel and... We hope that one where the um, address bar was overlapping with the content while in full screen makes its way to the stable sooner than later. So that's it, guys. That's more or less what's new in last week's latest beta channel, Bolt 22635.4515. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.